uh, I drank more water. I got more sleep. Um, I started to eat a lot of raw organic carrots. I, I stopped eating so much cooked food. Um, now, all of these things have a basis. Uh, Dr. Day at drday.com was a, uh, an orthopedic surgeon, I think, from San Francisco General Hospital who got cancer. She actually has videos that she sells on drday.com where it shows a large grapefruit-sized tumor on her chest. And it was supposedly terminal, and she, uh, she actually did have the benefit of having her tooth metal removed. I think she even saw Dr. Clark. She saw a number of cancer doctors, and she felt that didn't do enough for her. So she finally uh, did things like get more sleep, drink more water, eat, you know, breathe more fresh air, uh, get more sunshine, uh, eat a, a largely raw food vegan diet, drink a lot of carrot juice, things like this. Um, and so a lot of that was from her. A lot of it comes from Dr. Wallach. Of like when people call into his Dead Doctors Don't Lie radio show, uh, one thing he tells just about everyone with cancer is they have to quit coffee, they have to quit soda pop, um, they have to quit fried foods, which is something I did. Um, that's another thing I did. Uh, and things like this. Now, as far as the supplements, I knew a lady in Las Vegas, or I met a lady in Las Vegas who said that she beat terminal uterine cancer um, it was just given months to live. She beat it with a raw foods vegan diet and I think two grams a day of vitamin C. So I decided to take two grams or maybe a little more a day of vitamin C. A lot of people take vitamin C till, till they start getting diarrhea, which is called vitamin C to bowel tolerance. When you start getting diarrhea, then that means you've had too much vitamin C. I didn't go that way. That, that's usually over 20 grams of vitamin C a day when you, know, you reach bowel tolerance. And to me, I didn't think that was necessary. I mean, vitamin C, there are some studies showing that it's a good antiviral, it's a good antioxidant, all of these things. Um, but I didn't feel it was necessary to go that far with it uh, because I was doing other things. I mean, I was zapping, I was doing other supplements. I did have some, I think I, I, think I did order the anti-parasite herbs from drclark.com or shrc.net, one of those two. Um, and... I, I did start, I, I think I did do a few doses of the parasite herb, uh, which is from Dr. Clark's book that's basically black walnut whole tincture, wormwood, and cloves. I also um, occasionally would drink a, a carrots, beets, and celery juice drink. Um, I, I'd order from a, you know, a little stand, actually, I think, <laughs> was it in Grand Central Station? Well, anyway, it, no, it wasn't Grand Central, it was um, oh, the other one. Well, anyway, was it Penn Station? Uh, anyway, I, I would occasionally get that, and sometimes with ginger added in, or parsley added in, or cucumbers added in, something like that. Uh, but that wasn't every day. Uh, that was kind of expensive. And, you know, this was like $4 a drink or something. And um, and I still, I, I wasn't, I mean, it wasn't that good of a job. I wasn't making a whole lot of money. And uh, then on top of that, I had some herbs left over from flu season, and they were elderberry extract, um, golden seal tincture, colloidal silver, grapefruit seed extract, and oregano. I, I couldn't remember at first whether I had used oregano, but then I remembered, yes, I'd used oregano for the flu season because that was the only thing that seemed to attack the bronchial element that year after I tried these other herbs. And Basically, I, I rotated them so I wasn't taking them all at the same time of day. Now, when I say I rotated them, that doesn't mean that I took some one day and the other ones the next. It, I took all of them in the same day. It's just if I were supposed to take them every four hours, it's like at, at one hour mark I would take like maybe golden seal and elderberry extract together, and then two hours later I would take colloidal silver and grapefruit seed extract. And whenever I felt like it, I'd take oregano. Oregano is just a few drops of this really strong oregano oil that you put under your tongue. And it, it kind of makes your breath smell like a big pepperoni. Um, but it also, it's very powerful and it works really well. Um, and the thing is, uh, well, well, it also kind of burns. I mean, it's really strong oregano oil. You can also buy oregano oil uh, capsules or not capsules, but, you know, gel caps. And you can get those at a health food store. In my experience, they, they seem to work as well as oregano. I don't know. Um, some people say oregano is better. I've had good luck with both. Um, but at the time, I just happened to have oregano. And um, the, the reasons I use the other ones, uh, and they're ones that I use frequently for 
any kind of infection. Colloidal silver has a good name, and the alternative health world is an antibiotic. Um, it's considered to be antiviral, antibacterial. Grapefruit seed extract, largely the same. Um, it's uh, supposedly antibacterial, anti antiviral. A lot of people use it in flu season. Um, elderberry extract is supposedly really antiviral. Um, people a lot of times take it with zinc for flu season and maybe some other things like a, a stragulus and, uh, you know, vitamin C, whatever. Um, and then, oh, what was the other one? Colloidal grapefruit seed, uh, golden, golden seal tincture is considered to be antibacterial. Um, I have heard that you shouldn't use it for more than a month at a time because uh, using it over extended periods uh, interferes with the absorption of B vitamins. Um, you'd have to look that up for yourself, though. I don't remember the exact time frame when you're supposed to discontinue it for a while. And oregano is supposedly very, uh, very antibacterial, antiviral, and I think it might be antiparasitic too, but I'm not sure, or antifungal, one of those. Um, but anyway, so they're all things that have good reputation in the alternative health world. I did get more sleep. I couldn't really get that much fresh air in New York. I did drink more water. I think I mentioned this before. Um, so I had all these supplements that I added in on top of the Zapper uh, because the Zapper, I mean, it just it seemed to be getting me through the emergency, but I didn't seem to really be improving from one day to the next that much. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe if I consider if I had continued zapping for every day, you know, for a month or something, maybe my cancer would have been gone. Some people just zap every day, and that's good enough for them, and it goes away. Um, but, you know, with me, I didn't want to take that chance because, you know, my symptoms were really bad. <laughs> and um, so when that wasn't, well, well, okay, let me just stop here and say, with me doing all of that, uh, I still didn't feel I was improving that much. You know, any improvements seemed to be temporary and slow. I, I mean, it seemed like I was getting better slowly, but just barely noticeably from day to day. And the Zapro would get me through, but only for a few hours at a time. And so I tried, I decided to try another thing. And this is, you know, my whole theory of adding things in until you find something that works for you. Well, everything I've just mentioned, you know, if you research it, uh, have they have very few side effects, if any. Um, you know, a lot of times the side effects are rare. You know, they're, they're, it's just a, it's a precaution. Um, but all those things are considered to be very, very safe, everything I just mentioned. So when you have things like that that are very, very safe, um, you can, I mean, you can just keep adding them. Uh, you know, dietary changes, getting more rest, a few supplements, uh, you know, most of which are food grade, um, those kinds of things. It, it doesn't hurt. Uh, but I had, uh, I decided to add one more step, and that was a flaxseed oil. Uh, well, well, let's just back up and say the Joanna Budwig diet uh, had really good reviews on the Internet. I mean, you can read more about her in uh, William Fisher's book, How to Fight Cancer and Win. And basically, uh, I, I, well, I don't want to say she's Austrian unless I'm sure, but there was one physician from Europe uh, discovered that uh, she could cure cancer with a diet alone. And it was a diet based around flaxseed oil and no-fat cottage cheese.